everyone. Welcome you on Around the Wickets on the Papare.com. Well, we are into some exciting times in terms of cricket with Sri Lanka now touring South Africa. Well, the Sri Lankans have won their last five test matches, beating Australia quite comprehensively at home and then defeating a rather inexperienced and an ill-prepared Zimbabwe, but still a very good win with Sri Lanka not having some of their seniors, Ragan Hera doing a good job. Now, the Sri Lankans are up against a really good side and it's going to be a tough challenge in South Africa, always. It is, a team is judged by the way they perform away from home. We did see how England succumbed to uh, uh, Indian pressure, lost the series four matches to nil. And then on the other side of the coin was South Africa beating Australia away. Now, that sometimes tells you how good or how bad a side is. Now, the Sri Lankans have something to prove here. They need to really show the world that they are as good as what they are at home when they play away. But having said that, I am afraid this is going to be a really tough challenge. And let us not get too far ahead of us expecting Sri Lanka to beat South Africa. But let me also tell you that you cannot rule out Sri Lanka's chances because they got a very exciting side. Now, one thing about the Sri Lankan side is when they went to England, I said, well, if they lose 1-0, it's a win. Now, that was because that Sri Lankan side was inexperienced. They were just getting together and they hadn't played as a team. But this side has played as a team. They have played for a while. They know what it is to win. They know what it is to score test hundreds, get five wickets. So, that way, they are more experienced, they are more equipped and they are gelling together. Now, these factors are very, very important going forward and particularly when you are when you're playing away in a very tough environment in terms of South Africa. Now, if you look at the record, I just got some records here for people who like statistics. South Africa versus Sri Lanka head to head, 22 games played, South Africa obviously having the better of the uh, encounters, winning 11 and Sri Lanka have won 5 with the 6 drawn. But what is really worrying is the way the Sri Lankans have performed in South Africa. They played 10 games and won just 1 and lost 8. Now, that is the worry because they have not won in South Africa and those pitchers are not the best suited for Sri Lanka style of play. Now, if you look at the tour program, we play the first game at Port Elizabeth. That is a low and slow track, but that will help the seam bowlers. And then there, there comes the second test Cape Town, where you will have more pace and bounce, January 2nd to the 6th. First test, of course, is a Boxing Day test match. And then the third test match goes to Joburg again, has a lot of pace and bounce. Now, the place Sri Lanka won was in Durban, where Rangan Herat got nine wickets. Now, the South Africans have very cleverly left out Durban from the test itinerary, not really allowing the Sri Lankans to play to their strength. Now, that is what most home teams do. They want to make sure that they always play to their strength or they just ensure that they avoid giving the opposition uh, surfaces to play to their strength. Well, anyway, teams are judged on how they perform on all surfaces. I believe there are good teams and extraordinary teams. So, is Sri Lanka an ordinary good team or an extraordinary team? That is what we will find out uh, when Sri Lanka take on South Africa. Now, as, as far as the team news is concerned, well, we were surprised to see Vikum Sanjay, more or less an unknown fast bowler coming through from BRC. Many would have thought that, uh, well, he would have been way behind the pecking order and uh, he would not have uh, really made this 11, but the selectors have been bold. They have taken Vikum Sanjay, they brought in Lahiru Kumar, a very young player. I saw him bold in Zimbabwe, bold with good pace. He needs a bit of experience. And also, the good news is that they have got Angelo Matthews back, they have got Chandimal back, and also they have got Dushmanta Chamira. Now, Dushmanta Chamira is a very exciting prospect. He needs a bit of match practice, but he is someone who can really run in and bowl hard. Now, I am not sure whether the Sri Lankans will want to go with Dushmanta Chamira in the first test because that pitch does not really help the faster bowlers too much. It is more of a seeming slow, low track that will help the likes of Philander from uh, South Africa and maybe Suranga Lakmal who bowls seam and maybe Nuan Pradeep. So, that could be what the Sri Lankans are looking at and, and the most likely Sri Lankan side would mean that even Kusal Parera may not play because Chandi Mahal will be keeping wickets. So, Karnaratna Kaushal Silva, we got, we got a, just a probable 11 just to share with you. Dimut Karnaratna Kaushal Silva, Kusal Parera, I am not sure whether he will play. They may go for Upul Taranga because Upul Taranga will bring in some experience into the middle order. And it could be Kusal or Upul Taranga with then Kusal Mendes batting at number 3. Then Angelo Matthews, Chandi Mahal, Dananjay Di Silva, Rangana Herat, Suranga Lakmal, Nuan Pradeep, Lahiru Kumar, Dushmanta Chamira, who knows? Even the likes of Vikum Sanjay, who is very different 
is kind of a symbol may come into the equation. So, let us see you know so the other thing about uh, touring these days is that you do not have too many side games. So, as a result of it you just play one game you look at your side and then decide how to go forward with that team and then of course, you depend a lot on how they perform in the nets not the ideal, but then that is the reality of cricket today. As far as South Africa is concerned not the best news because A B de Villiers I believe one of the most exciting possibly one of the top three batsmen in the world not available. Dale Stain another fine fast bowler for South Africa injured and out. Moni Morkel uh, nasty bowler gets a lot of bounce and pace also injured. So, South Africans are not starting ideally with three of their key players not available which would be good news if you are a Sri Lankan fan. And Faf Plessy, who had a good uh, run as captain uh, of course, as a standing captain uh, in Australia he is now made the official captain I believe he has got a brilliant cricket brain Faf Plessy, He does not look a showman, but he is someone who gets uh, on with his job and a very fine captain. South Africa named the side they have named 13 players, but very likely that uh, Thanos De Bruyne and uh, Wayne Parnell may sit out with the bowling attack uh, revolving around uh, Philander and uh, Rabada and, and also Abbott. Now, that, that looks the South African seam attack with their batting quite strong. Well, so you can uh, as we, we told you earlier, uh, you can continue to join us on Cricketry as we do this audio update on uh, Papri.com and listen to uh, what happens in South Africa and, and maybe also contribute and join us with your thoughts on the papare.com. So, that is it today on Around the Wickets. Join us again very soon. Until then.